Detroit Pistons are at odds of plus 9,000 to win the NBA championship and at plus 3,300 to win the Eastern Conference. The Detroit Pistons failed to live up to expectations in their first season under head coach Stan Van Gundy a year ago. And a rough offseason combined with a tough division will make reaching the playoffs even more difficult this season. Van Gundy has a reputation for building contenders and maximizing their potential as a coach, but Detroit plays in the same division as the Cleveland Cavaliers and Chicago Bulls, and both the Milwaukee Bucks and Indiana Pacers have also improved, at least on paper. There are several key core pieces that can be the foundation for a playoff team in the near future, but based on the overall talent level in the Central Division and the lack of substantial upgrades to the team, it looks like the Pistons will once again be trying to climb out of their division basement this season. While a lot was made about the individual limitations of Mondreau and Andre Drummond playing on the same team, the reality is this was a better team with both big men in the lineup, and the roster is worse off after losing Monroe. Detroit addressed its supporting cast with the additions of Ursan Ilyasova, Anthony Tolliver, Steve Blake, and rookie first-round pick Stanley Johnson. But considering they lost Monroe and will be without Brandon Jennings at the start of the season as he recovers from an Achilles injury, this team is actually worse off on paper than they were at the end of last season when they still finished fifth in the Central Division. Even without Monroe, the strength of this Detroit team is its rebounding ability, with Drummond holding down the fort in the middle and both Ilya Sova and Marcus Morris helping out. Van Gundy always puts his players in the best possible position to maximize their talents, and young players like the rookie Johnson and Aaron Baines should help the Pistons register strong rebounding numbers again this season. A lack of efficiency remains the biggest problem for Detroit heading into the season, as even with Monroe gone, this is not a team that is capable of shooting at a high level. The Pistons finished 27th in field goal percentage a year ago, and while Jackson looks like he can actually be a true star at the point guard position, there are obvious question marks throughout the rest of the roster. Detroit is not ready to climb out of the division basement just yet, and a lack of efficiency is among the biggest reasons for it. The other main issue here is the identity crisis, as it's not known whether Jackson or Drummond can be the centerpiece of an offense and coexist. Also, we'll have to wait to see if Kentavious Caldwell Pope or Stanley Johnson can develop into primetime pieces. There's a lot of uncertainty in regards to this team and how the pieces of the puzzle fit into place. The fact that they are stuck in the same division as the Cavaliers, Bulls, Bucks, and Pacers make the Pistons' current situation even worse as they have tried to become a playoff team in the division where they are still the fifth best team despite some marginal improvements. Detroit is at least one year away from even being considered a playoff contender. So at least for now, it makes sense to stay away from their future's odds. For more Detroit Pistons betting information and statistics, check out the Bang the Book Betting Center. And don't forget that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sportsbooks.